Testing bolt tension means reading the gauge on a Skidmore Wilhelm bolt tension measuring device. In this video, we are going to learn about the different gauge faces you may encounter in the field and the effect that changing specifications have had on older models. All new Skidmore Wilhelm bolt tension measuring devices have an unmarked gauge face that displays bolt tension in pounds force. However, if you do a lot of testing on Skidmore devices and have used some of the older models, you have probably noticed the different lines on the face of the gauge. Since Skidmore units have primarily been used to measure bolt tension, the original gauges included lines for bolt tension requirements for both A325 bolts, the red lines, and A490 bolts, the green lines. These lines marked the minimum bolt tension required for each diameter. The main purpose of this video is to explain why these lines are no longer valid when used to measure the required bolt tension for pre-installation verification. The reason for this is that industry specifications have changed over the years and Skidmore devices have a very long service life. So some units which have been in service for over 50 years have lines on the gauges that no longer represent modern testing requirements. One important specification change occurred in the early 2000s when it was determined that an extra 5% would be added to the verification testing. The extra 5% ensures that installed bolts are above minimum tension requirements, but it has created two different sets of numbers, one for installation tension and one for verification testing. This means that the lines on the Skidmore gauge represent installation tension, not verification tension, which is now 5% higher. This change may not seem like much for lower diameter bolts, but for larger diameter bolts, the difference can be significant. Another specification change occurred in 2016 when the minimum installation tension was increased for larger diameter A325 bolts. A325 bolts over one inch in diameter now require anywhere from 16 to 28 kips more than the original tension requirements. Using this gauge as an example, you can see that the lines for one and an eighth and one and a quarter inch diameter bolts are based on older numbers that no longer apply to current bolt tension requirements. Regardless, if you have one of the older marked gauge faces or a newer unmarked one, knowing what the current bolt tension requirements are is a crucial part of a successful bolt test. If you want to learn more about testing bolt tension and using Skidmore devices, we suggest taking our free Understanding Bolt Tension course, where this and many other informative videos can be found. 